Well, welcome. Thanks for coming in today. We have uh, just a selection of some of the many cameras that we support and carry here at Mike's Camera in uh, Colorado. Three locations, Colorado uh, in Boulder, in Denver, and then a little further south in our, at our Littleton store. Right. Um, there's a lot of cameras on the market. We're just going to talk about a few of the basics. Number one camera, a phone. Everybody's using a phone. Phones are convenient, but they're not necessarily the best at taking pictures. So you can step from that into something like this guy. This is what would be classed as like a compact uh, point and shoot camera. Uh, the nice thing with this one in particular is the zoom range on this is an 18 times optical zoom. This is gonna give you a range from about a 25 millimeter to about a 300 millimeter in zoom. That's about a 12 times optical zoom in a camera this size. New trick with this camera, here's the beauty of this. We talked about the phone and convenience. Mm -hmm. If you're out in the wild but you still have cell signal, this particular camera has the ability to take a picture, send it straight to your phone, and then you can post it on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or wherever you want to share your pictures so everybody can see what you've been up to that day. Good stuff. Okay, so that's our starting place. These guys, you know, you can get into something like this around the 229 price point. Very pocketable, very easy to use, very easy to carry around. Huge screens on the back, which work excellent in bright sunlight now because of the new technology. So you want to step up from something a little bulkier. Our next step would be something like this. This is what's called your super zoom camera. This is a particular model that carries a 35 times optical zoom right in the lamp camera. This is going to give you a range from about a 28 millimeter lens on the wide angle all the way to close to 520 millimeters on the long end of the zoom. This is a huge zoom range. So when you're out there hunting, playing in the wild, backpacking, and you need to see something far off in the distance, this little guy is going to do it for you. Rotating screens. Two reasons, you can protect it, so if it's in a pack, it's sealed up. Number two, if you're trying to hide behind a tree or something, you can angle the screen and see what you're doing. If you're trying to look above something, you can hold it above your head and get way up in the sky to see above. Excellent cameras, they give you a lot of manual control. They also give you fully automatic if you don't have time to think what you're doing. This particular model does have the ability to add an external flash, so if you need extra illumination then the built-in flash can give you. It's all there in one package. Looking around the $400 price point on something like this, um, but very comfortable to hold, a little bulkier though, so it depends on what your use is. There's another class of camera that's really becoming popular this year. This is what's called your compact interchangeable lens system, commonly known as the ILC, interchangeable lens compact. This class of camera um, is very popular for people that like the performance of a full-size camera like this guy, Okay, but don't necessarily want the bulk. Okay, this has full interchangeable lenses. Okay, so you can change your lenses on it. It gives you full manual control. It gives you full automatic control. These guys, the video quality on these is phenomenal. You can shoot 1080i high definition video at a 60 frame a second rate on this guy. For sports action photography and for, act, for outdoor action, this will do 60 frames a second of still photography. It does, it's, it's mind blowing how quick this thing is. And part of the reason for that is, unlike a traditional SLR with the interchangeable lenses, this guy has no mirror to move. So it allows it to record that much faster. There are many lenses on the market. This is a standard short range, good for wide angle stuff, close up stuff and then they do make a longer lenses as well, as well as some creative style lenses as well. Excellent to go with, very compact, not quite pocketable, but performance built. Then we get more into our traditional style of camera. Something like this, okay? This is your single lens reflex. A lot of people used to shoot very similar film style cameras with this, full performance, um, you have the full range, in this particular case, this is Canon, but you have the full range in Canon, in Nikon, in Sony, um, that, we, that we support, as well as the Olympus lines that give you ranges of zoom that are huge. Now, obviously, you can see by the size, you have to be willing to carry some bulk. They're not a compact camera. They're not necessarily a lightweight camera, okay? Um, but for performance, for resolution, 
for picture quality, color saturation and sharpness, these guys still cannot be beat in today's camera market. Um, little step in price point, but you do benefit from, the, uh, from what the quality is. Sometimes a little different in the compacts, you gain it in the larger format cameras. Okay, This is something a little different. This is kind of a cross a little bit between these two. It's, it falls into the interchangeable lens category. It is an ILC camera. Full interchangeable lens, but the sensor in this guy, they made just a little bit larger than some of the traditional ILC cameras, assisting you with performance. The sacrifice, the size of the lenses. As your sensor enlarges, as do your lenses. So you then again have to be, uh, be ready to carry a little bit more than you maybe thought initially. We did mention that these all do video. They all do high definition video. The video is phenomenal, but in certain cameras you are limited to the amount of time that this type of camera can video for. This is more your traditional camcorder style camera. Okay? This is a particular model from Sony. This guy has a 42x extended zoom range, a three and a half inch LCD, um, very compact, very good resolution. Here's the big trick with this guy. This is a new camera that's out on the market in the last year it started and they've expanded it this year. What are you gonna do with all that footage that you've taken during the day? How are you gonna show it to people without finding something to plug into? Here's the beauty. Little demonstration here for you. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna stick this into uh, a different mode real fast. And then what I'm gonna do and this is, the, this is the reason to have this. I'm going to turn on my projector that's built into this camera. Okay, and it's used the light in here. It's not as easy to see. But the beauty of this guy is when I get back to my lodge or my house, I don't need a screen. I don't need a TV. I just need a white wall and I can show everybody what I videoed that day. Wow. And this thing, this particular camera, will project in a darkened room up to a 100 inch screen for good viewable distance. So, something cool on the market, a lot of people are enjoying that. The goal of photo photography and imaging is to share it. And for video especially, that is by far the easiest way to share any of your footage from that day. Get a little tabletop tripod, you can video yourself out there. When you get home, you turn it around, turn the projector on, and you've got an instant movie.